Welcome, my friends, to another exciting podcast of educational research. And in this little podcast, we're going to examine strategies for conducting a literature review by using your library resources. I want you to keep in mind that Texas A&M University Commerce has an awesome digital library, and you ought to rejoice and be glad. Let's swing into this website, which you recognize. This is your course home, and let's go over here under the course home listing, and we'll select library. And what that will do is take us out to the library. Once we get to the library, there's a lot of things we can do, but actually what we're looking for is these 200 databases and a specific database, which is called Academic Search Complete. So we'll set A, and then we'll select Academic Search Complete. Look at all these things that have come up here. You could just get lost. But right here in the center will carry us out to the database. Now, hopefully we'll get that thing loaded in a minute. And here we are. Now, I'm going to do something called performance. And uh, since we're looking at district performance rating, I'm going to look at, uh, just do those as uh, subject terms. And uh, we'll go down here. We want full text, scholarly, peer-reviewed. We want those things to be... Uh, fairly new, from September 2005 to maybe September 2011. We'll look at that. Now let's, let's let it conduct the search. We'll click on search up there and we'll see what comes up. Strategic measures, look at it coming up. Strategic measures of teacher performance. You've got several articles that you could look at. Now, Guys, there's a secret to doing this and making it work. Uh, I went ahead of you, and I've already pulled up this strategic uh, measures of uh, performance. Let me get it right here in the center so that we can look at it. Once you find an article, you read that article. Uh, this sounds interesting. Moving from our current haphazard system of teacher evaluation to a more systematic approach to evaluation, and it's about school district evaluations or teacher evaluations. We might want to look at districts, but look at this page right here. You see these references? All of a sudden you found a host of other articles that you can work on. Let's go back into this library search. Let's do district in with that and add that as a uh, subject term. District performance rating and see if we find anything. Oh my! Look, look at the data. Now, some of these are just HTML text, but there's one that's full PDF. Now, what I wanted to show you with this is just simply that doing a lit review is not as difficult as you think it is. You have tremendous digital resources. The academic uh, search complete is a marvelous search engine to find these articles. You go out and you find an article. You read that article, it may relate, it may not. If it does relate, you just have to do a little work with it to make it uh, fit, your, fit your topic and decide where it falls within your literature map. This is really fun and very, very, very informative. Hope you enjoyed this little podcast. If you try to locate the journal articles that fit your uh, research project, you're going to develop a list of key terms. Be creative. Be creative. What you're doing is you're, you're mining 200 databases for articles. You're mining that database of academic search complete for articles. You just need to like those words, put them in, see what's out there, look, search, look, search, try some new things, look and search again. There's no easy way. It just takes a little work. But believe me, if you put in the effort, you'll get the quality of articles that you need to support what you're writing about. Now, how many of them do you need? Well, I would say somewhere around five or six good articles. Recent articles should be adequate for you to do a lit review for the project that you're working on.